if you're planning to install Windows 95 on Virtual PC 2007, then this is for you. If you're willing to use Virtual PC 2007, you must be running either Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. I'm going to be using Windows XP for this tutorial. So we're going to click Virtual PC. Click New. Welcome to the new Virtual Machine Wizard. Click Next. I'm going to create a virtual machine. Click Next. I'm going to name the virtual machine Windows 95. Click Next. You can either set the operating system as Windows 98. Click Next. You can use the recommended RAM if you want. A new virtual hard disk. Click Next, click Next, and then click Finish. All right, you want to click Start, and you want to insert your boot floppy. My boot floppy is Windows 98 SE. Click open. And wait for the OS to start. I'm going to start computer without CD-ROM support. Type F D I S K F disk. Click Enter. Say yes to large disk support. We're gonna create a DOS partition. Create primary DOS partition, and it's verifying. It's gonna take some time, depending on the speed on your Windows XP. Vista or 7 computer. And you want to say yes to make the partition active. And it says you must restart your system, so go up to action and click Control Alt Delete. The next step is insert your Windows 95 ISO immediately for creating the hard drive and copying over the cap files. This time, we're going to start computer with CD-ROM support. Click Enter. I'm going to scan the software. Next, type format C colon backslash S. I'm 
Warning, all data on non-removable disk on drive C will be lost. Receiver format, confirm Y and hit enter. It's going to format the hard drive, which is going to take some time, so I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, formatting is done. Type in a volume label if you wish. And the next step is copying over the cap files, lacking the need for the Windows 95 CD. If you're uninstalling or reinstalling a component, so remember the Windows directory. Make an options directory and then a caps directory. Go over to that path. As I said this on my PCEM tutorial, You want to copy the cap files in the Win95 folder. So when you are in C, Windows, Options, Caps, type copy the Win95 star dot star and then hit enter. Copying over the cap files. Okay, the cap files are done. Now you want to check your Windows 98 floppy. Go to action and hit control alt delete. Okay, I'm going to enter a command prompt. The next step you want to go is Windows, Options, Backslash, Cabs, and type Setup. You can do the IS option if you want to skip scan disk. It says, Welcome to Windows 95 Setup. Congratulations on your choice of Windows 95. Click continue. Say yes to the license agreement. Next step is collecting information about your computer. Click next, and it says it wants to install the Windows.000, but we're going to fix that. Go to our directory, click next, and remove the three zeros and the period before it. Click next, and it gives you this question. Click yes. And now it's going to check your hard disk. and installed components. You can choose what setup options you want. I'm going to do custom because if you do typical, Windows 95 does not install all the components. So click next. And you have to, the next step is answering your product key. It should be in the WinWorld PC tab, so I'm going to type it in. After typing in your product key, type in your name. And if you have a company, and if you want to type in your company, 
go ahead and type it if you wish. Click next. You want to say yes to a setup check. And you want to tick all these. Click next. Okay, the next step is selecting components and tick whatever components that make you happy. But if you want to make this into a DOS box, I recommend all accessories, no to disk tools, and say yes to multimedia and then click next. Blah 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 on that. Click next. Click next. No, I do not want to start off disk. And then click next. Now it's going to copy Windows 95 files into your computer. And then click next. And it is quicker than the ECEM, if you ask me. And in a moment, if you run into a Windows protection error, I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, with the copying files done, it's going to ask for a reboot. And you want to click finish. Getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. Now setting up hardware. Copying files from the cabs. Click OK on that. Name your computer name, whatever you want. I'm going to name it Virtual PC Town 795. Just type in work group. Type in the computer description if you want. Click close. And it's going to copy the tabs. And 
now it's going to ask for a time and zone. And we now, oh, so now it's setting up control panel, programs on the start menu, help, DOS programs, time zone, and setting up printer, which I'm not going to set up a printer. Set your time zone to wherever you live in, and then click apply, and then click OK. Click cancel on that, and setup has finished. Click OK to reboot. Yes, you did hear that classic ta-da sound. And now it's going to take you to the desktop. You get the Windows 95 boot screen and setup is done. Type in a name and a password if you want. If you type in the password, type it in. And yes, we did hear that classic Windows 95 sound. Let this Internet Explorer 4 set up. Because if you install Internet Explorer 4, explore.exe will make it look like Windows 98. And when it's done, it'll ask for a reboot. After installing Internet Explorer 4, I didn't get a reboot for some reason, but if you did, good. The next step is installing drivers. Now you know how Windows 95 does not like the 2007 Virtual Machine Editions. If you install it, here's what happens. You get an error. Setup.exe is linked to missing export kernel 32 DLL. So that means you have to install Virtual PC 2004 editions instead. So, to install Virtual PC 2004 editions, you want to capture ISO image, go to VPC 2004 VM editions, a link will be in the description below, click VPC town for VM editions.iso and then click open. This is because the virtual PC 2004 supports Windows 95. It's configuring the Windows installer. Preparing to install. You want to click next. 
Gold Shield Lone Star Virtual Machine Editions. When it's done, click finish. And restart. Click yes to restart. And the virtual machine editions allow you to drag and drop. And there you go. You now have Windows 95 on Virtual PC 2007. This is good for using a virtual PC if you ever want to revisit Windows 95 or Virtual PC 2007 MXP, Vista, or 7. If you ever run into a Windows protection error, here's how you fix it. Insert A fix 95 CPU IMA into the floppy. After the starting Windows 95 thing shows up, it shows high speed processor support setup version 3.0 by Lone Crusader. Press any key to continue. You don't have to read the readme file if you want to. Press any key to install. And there you go. Next 95 CPU has installed. So after installing this, you'll no longer get this message. So eject the Windows 95 floppy and then hit Control Alt Delete. And that's it. This is how you install Windows 95 on Virtual PC. 2007.